Hello and welcome. This video goes out to all the players that still think that 20% mounts are any good. You stupid! Because they are not if you're actively playing this game. But we are actually not here to talk about that. We are here to see at which point it is more advantageous in terms of costs to have a 50% mount over a 30% mount. And for that matter, I created some statistics again. So let's get cracking. Now you can see a statistic which shows the costs of both mounts per 14 days, without the additional free beer which you can get with the beer enchantment from the witch. It might look complicated, but don't worry, it isn't. The x-axis shows the raw thirst for adventure without it being reduced by a mount. As you can see, there's an intersection around 190 first for adventure, and exactly at this point, the both mounts cost equally many mushrooms. Afterwards, of course, the 30% mount becomes more and more expensive to sustain in comparison to the 50% mount. This goes on until it reaches its max capacity, while you can get way further with the 50% mount. Now the question is, at which exact point the 50% mount is advantageous. So there you have it. 192 first for adventure. Which means that you have to either use 96 first for adventure with your 50% mount, or 134 with the 30% mount to reach that point. Now you might be wondering whether those results change with an extra free beer. And of course they do, otherwise I would not even have made a second statistic. So I, I don't earn anything with my video, but doing that for nothing would be a waste of time. Do you think that I am that re- 21? Okay, sorry, I have to stop acting like I'm mad. No wonder that my teacher hated me for being unprofessional. Okay, next statistic. Here you can see that it basically looks the same, but the intersection just is at a completely different point, at 220 instead of 192. And if you convert that again into mount values, it is almost exactly 110 first for adventure with the 50% mount, and 154 with the 30% mount. So yeah, these are the exact points at which the 50% mount becomes more lucrative. And in that whole calculation we didn't even take a look at the die machine, which also is better to go into with a good mount. And now let's look at some fun facts. Did you know that the chance of finding mushrooms on your quests is dependent on the mount you have? Did you know that there are two different versions of each mount? Did you know that I'm just an AI? Cool, me neither. I hope you didn't enjoy this video and I made you feel as awkward as possible. Goodbye.